Comrades, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I am Admiral Andre, and there's a lawnmower in the background, which I beg you to forgive, comrades. I need to record when I get the time, so uh, I can't control all the environmental variables. At any rate, today we are going to be launching the uh, Crystal module, and we are going to be upgrading the Soyuz because I need to send an uncrewed version up to the station because there is no Soyuz there at the moment. So we'll do that first and then of course we will build the crystal. Now in this case of course we'll do the usual. We'll have a look at Google for all the source information and all of that and do the best we can with that. So I'll see you in a moment in the VAB comrades. So, comrades, here we are. Let's have a look today. We are building, uh, let me see, we've done Kvant 2. So, Crystal is the next one in line. So, that was May 1990. So, Crystal consisted of two main sections. The first was largely used for materials processing. So, somehow, I would like to have one of those uh, parts that convert ore into fuel on this station segment. I think that will be appropriate there. Also, more astronomical observations, biotechnology experiments, and the various docking ports. Uh, these were, of course, intended for the Buran program, but were eventually used by the shuttle. So this docking compartment also contained a camera and further gyrodynes. So again, we have to make sure that we allow for some reaction control there. Now, uh, this was of course also the last module sent up by the Soviet Union. After that it was Russia, so very interesting there. Now let's have a look at this. Now, if we can see here, hmm, it's difficult to see which one is the right one. Let's just see here, Crystal. So, Crystal is the one on the bottom here, so uh, minus Z, so I assume this will be the one facing the planet. And that's, of course, where the docking module goes. Now, I'm wondering, because to a very large extent it looks the same, you know, these four outer modules all have the same basic design in terms of those panels on the outside, this diameter that goes out and then back in again. Maybe we can reuse that from the Kvant 2 then. But I'm thinking I want to put a lab module on this one. Somewhere we have to have a lab module. After all, if you want a fully functional space station, you have to do that. Now, Spectre is, uh, as they say, the living quarters for the American astronauts and some NASA experiments. So I think this will be another living module. Of course, there's nothing stopping our Kerbals from doing experiments in there, but for our purpose, I think Spectre will be another housing module, of course, together with the many solar panels that will generate power. Then, of course, the docking thing is just a docking thing. Then after that, Priroda is possibly going to be another lab module because it was for more experiments and remote sensing and that's why it has that big dish antenna on the side there almost like a radar this uh, module's experiments were provided by 12 different nations microwave visible near infrared and so on so uh, a very sciencey one again now, the docking module was supplied by the U.S. and it was brought up by the shuttle Atlantis, so we will also do that. But in terms of Spectre uh, or Crystal, let's just have a look. Somewhere I read this now. Here, Crystal. So, obviously it had the docking port, but it actually had two of them. So, if I just have a look here, Crystal had several materials processing furnaces. Then, uh, of course, the parrot is making his racket in the background again. Lo uh, located in the docking node was Priroda 5 camera and so on. But now, where was that... Uh part about the... Yeah, about the Buran program. It carried two 
androgynous peripheral attach system docking ports designed to be compatible with Buran. One was located axially on the side and the other was located radially. After the cancellation of the Buran program in 93, the lateral port found use for the shuttle Mir program. The radial port was never used. So let's just have a look here. If I can find, this is a, the diagram here. Now, on the outer edge here, it almost looks like one of those multi-purpose nodes. Maybe we can use that for the end of the module. Now, there's, of course, the radial port. There's the axial one. So, in our case, I think we can still use the radial one for the shuttle, but the axial one is going to be for Buran when we build it eventually. So, we'll use both of them. Now, let's just see again. Here we have the docking part. Then it goes wider and back in, and there are the engines. Now, I have to say on the Quant 2, I actually placed the engines the wrong way around, but I'm not going to relaunch that. We'll just consider it an Easter egg. So, it has to point down this way, not out to the right. Then we have our central part here with the various antennas and tanks and panels and things. Then we have another Rodnik water tank, so another big one. A narrower diameter here again. And then of course it goes narrower still. So this will be the 1875 meter part. This will be the 2 meter part. Now I'm wondering if we can fit the lab in here. I'd really like to. Now there's almost like another round adapter there. So we might have to use those flat uh, Rocco Max adapters. Let's just see. I also searched for Crystal Mir here in uh, Google Images. Now here you can see very clearly those outer panels again, but they only look like they're on one side. I don't see them on the other side. There is also two large tanks here. It's very difficult. It's all different. You see, this one looks even different. The panels look wider. There's pipe things on the top here. It's difficult to know exactly what you're supposed to do here. But it's creative interpretation again. Let's just see what else we can find. See, this one again doesn't have the panels on the bottom. So this is a photograph, crystal. Now here it looks even different again. So we have the panels on the side exactly the same way we built them last time. And then also these tank things on the outside again like we did with Kavan 2. I think we're going to adopt a lot of that for this module again. Let's see, where is Crystal here? So there are four tanks on the top. Now I just have to now make sure that I'm not sending the docking port as well, the docking module. This part we'll worry about later. It's now just up to that point there. Okay, comrades, first though, we need to upgrade the Soyuz and then we will send it to the station because we don't have one there, as I said in the last video. Then we will try and build the crystal module. Now here again it looks like there's four panels around the sides. I don't know, we'll have to see comrades. This one again, it's always like the panels are always facing us. They're never facing away. That's the most bizarre thing. You see there again is nothing, but there's one, there's one, and there's nothing. But on the photos, you can clearly see there is one there and one here. And it looks like one is peeking out there. So we'll use four again. Very clear. You see, the this one, I think, is Spectre. This is the power module. It's the same story again. It has the four panels and then another tank protruding on either side. So we'll be doing that again, comrades. First, however, time to conclude here. So see you in the VAB, comrades. So, comrades, here we are. This is our tutorial Soyuz MHEX. So I think we'll be getting a better designation for it today. Really, all that I want to do is put a pro core in here because it doesn't have one at the moment. We never put one in. And that's also going to give us a little bit of reaction wheel control, which will also help because it's very difficult to dock with this thing, as I'm sure if you've tried, you would have found.
but uh, it's not unmanageable but this will make it easier but I'm specifically after the uh, automatic function here so let's see where are we going to put this thing hmm. somewhere I suppose in the main capsule or in the secondary no the main one because sometimes we might want to bring it back home without a crew as well so how are we going to do this? We need to find an attachment point somewhere. Now I think that's the base of the next part. So where is the base of this one? That is it. Okay, so maybe here and then we'll just move it through. So let's see, of course here getting a perfect snap is impossible the closer you get to the center. So I'll just try, although we really should get a good uh, alignment here otherwise the probe core is going to be misaligned ah it's impossible why is it so difficult uh, how are we going to manage this then have to find another way because it has to be relatively centered there yay yeah, yeah, yeah. why make it so difficult now I'm not gonna attach it on the outside then again this thing is never going to detach either so maybe we can do it to the base of the fairing that would be okay but now we can't see the base of the fairing but maybe here somewhere of course it's still in the way okay now I'm just gonna have to guess from what we can see it's definitely attaching to the airstream protective shell there. Okay, that's as good as I can do it. Now, let's put a probe core in here. Of course, we will pretend the electronics are being upgraded here. I think the hex might be the best. It's the most advanced of the small ones. We could go for a remote guidance unit, but it's too big. So, of course, the Octo 2 has no uh, reaction wheel. Neither does the cube thing here, the Probodobodine QBE. So, let's take the hex. That will also give us... Let's see, what controls will we have? Stability Assist and Prograde Retrograde. That's really all that we will need. So, we'll attach it there, and that's that. I think we don't need to do anything else for the upgrade. Maybe... Let's just see. Now, I don't want to upset too much here. Let's take this thing off. Let's just see. What does that look like? No, it's good. I like the way that the fairing sits there. So, we'll say undo that. Hopefully, it didn't mess anything up. Now, of course, here we still have the American flag. So, let's replace that. I do not have a Soviet one here. So, we'll use the rings one. Again, it's not even going to show up on the craft, so it doesn't matter. But just for the sake of it, we have the red there. Then, yes, that's it, really. That's all we need to do. So I will say here, this will be the Soyuz. What was the upgraded Soyuz called? Actually, let me have a look here. I'm sure there were several upgrades. In fact, I know there were several upgrades of the Soyuz. I'll just say Soyuz here in Google. Let's just find out. Uh, Soyuz spacecraft, there's the MS and the who knows what else. Variants, oh, there's a whole massive page of them. Soyuz A, Soyuz 7K, OK. 7K T, OK. OK, let's just find, there's the 7K. That was 1963, first generation, second generation, third generation. I suppose for us this is the second generation, even though it now doesn't really fall within the time span, which was 1973 to 81, and of course Mir was after that, but doesn't matter for us, it can be the uh, second generation. That's all I'll write there. Of course this is not matching the real thing, but in our case, I'll just say SG, second generation, save. And make sure there's no crew on board. Mac. Oh yes, I saw Mac in the astronaut complex yesterday and I hired him immediately because I think that's a good name. 
So, I think that's it, comrades. We'll speed this whole thing up. I will do the launch, of course, again from our uh, northern launch site. I think it's night there now, but we'll just speed it up. So, see you in orbit. Now, of course, comrades, we have to find the station again. So, we are up here. Where is Mir? There it is. I also made sure it now shows up as a station. So, we'll set it as a target. It will be another early morning launch. So let's fast forward and just get there. That will do. It's also overhead now. So let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No time for a countdown. Let's go. Comrades, a lucky encounter there. 4.1 kilometers. So, yes, we were a little bit behind the target, but we've managed to sort of set us up on a good trajectory here. Now, let's see, there is Mir, 51 kilometers away, so it will be getting closer now. Let's just time warp again. Okay, we're on the night side now, which is a bit unfortunate, but we are seven and a half kilometers away. We will be 4.1 kilometers away in four minutes. Let me just see. We have only minimal reaction wheel control here, but I think it will help with the docking. And it is as it should be. We don't want a, an overpowering amount of reaction control. I just want to see if we can set ourselves up for a bit of a closer encounter here. Luckily our speed is very close to that of Mir, so it shouldn't be too difficult. 3.987 3.2 Okay, we have to wait till we get closer because it's going to be drifting again. So let's time warp until we reach the three kilometers. Yes, you see the, the whole target thing drifts away there. So now we have to push it back. Two point nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, there you see it slowing down, so you don't want to push it any further than that. Then you need to wait again, another three and a half minutes. So see, how's our power? Should be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looking too much at the resources and not at what's happening here. Okay, let's see. Turn the RCS on for another kick. And get us to the retro and just push it there. Now we are slowing down a lot, so 3.2, okay, stop right there. So about half a kilometer, we just wait again until we approach it. What's our monoprop? Still fine. So there it is, Mir. Mir is taking shape, comrades. Let's just get closer. And actually don't lock to retro. 
0.1 now. Now, of course, we need to control this very carefully here. We need to dock on the bottom there. Okay, 0, 0. So let's see. I'm just going to fast forward again. Yes, we need to uh, dock right there, opposite side of the progress. Very good, very good. Okay, we are getting a bit close now. Let us F5 this. Get me to the retro, please, and let's burn it off. Actually, no, let's not burn it off. Can I push it somehow? Of course, everything is now in the wrong orientation. Let's just get us a bit closer. So there you see the solar panels on the Quant. Everything else on it is the same, of course. So yes, we just want to be underneath it now. I'll set that port as our target. And stop right here. Okay, F5 again. Now, it's probably not necessary to use this docking thing. I only really need it for the degrees that we are offset from the angle of the station. But, okay, let's see. Turn this off now. Get me towards the... So we don't have a lock to target. That's the one thing I wish we had. That's for a future upgrade. Third generation, I guess. Now, just get us to the right orientation. And then roll. So this thing is at its 180. Now this will of course depend on how the craft was built. In this case 180 I think is the right way. Doesn't matter. Just as long as it looks nice when it's docked. This is not a module. RCS on. Get us there. Pardon me comrades. I just sneezed horribly again. Now how are we going to get into the right place. I'm going to sneeze again. Can you believe it? It's the lawnmower outside. I'm sure of it. Yes, that's one thing you don't have in space. Hmm. Okay, let's just get into a locked thing here. Now, that means we need to be going this way. The L key. Just until we're in line of the station, then I'll stop us again. Of course, this is where the auto track target would be very useful. And this will do, I think. Stop us right there. Please turn me back to the station. And we're a little offset again. Okay, uh, back again, please. Just get me there. Find controls and we will just push ourselves there. I know this thing is saying we're a little bit high, so... Uh, I think... Oh dear, yes, we're going way too fast here. Okay, let's just control the situation. It's because we're now again drifting from the target lock. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. 179.9 degrees. That's fine. Turn off all control, all RCS, prepare to dock. 3, 2, 1, bang, and again... Bang. Okay, sometimes that still happens. That's fine. Doesn't kick us away like it did with the Apollo mission. And there we are, very nicely docked. Of course, the whole thing is wobbling a little bit now. Just change our view again to the free camera. And there it is with my design bureau flag still on. But yes, other than that, of course... Everything is looking good here. I should have a personal stamp on this thing, shouldn't I? So there is the Kvant, the upgraded one. Of course, we still eventually have to put the arm on here. 
But other than that, we are ready. So Destin is still here. Now, I think let's go back to the VAB and begin the next phase. F5. Okay, comrades, in this case, I think we will just load the module, the Quant 2, with the booster. That's fine. I'll just take that off and then, of course, we can work on it. I'll keep the bottom the same here. I'll keep the panels even the same because essentially it would be the same manufacturing process anyway. Just I saw we could also, this is what somebody else did, but I'm glad I did not see that because I don't want to copy other people. We could have also used the large radiator, uh, radiator panels right here. So that's another option, but you see it wouldn't have really fit in here perfectly, but it's a very close approximation. But for us, we use the panels. Now we'll throw this off. We also have to rotate the engine there, but I want instead of the hitchhiker, I want a lab here, which is now going to mess up the scale of this thing a little bit. But that's okay. It is a totally different module anyway. Let me just get this diagram. Now the front section where it goes, the 1875 diameter, is a lot shorter than this one, which is good. So we'll take this crew cabin stuff out, take this out, take this out. No need for a, an airlock here. Take it out, take all of this stuff out. Leave this for now. Don't know what's wrong with my voice now. It's this damn lawnmower thing kicking up all sorts of pollens and stuff. Let's keep this stuff. Um, I'll take this off. Do we need two or one? Probably two, I think. Although one could also work, but yes, this is the right adapter that I was thinking about. Now, changing this is not going to be easy. I need to take this off and there goes the fairing now. Oh dear, well, hmm, not much I can do there. So let's see then, I think, yes, we'll have to start from scratch essentially. Just wish we could get these panels copied over, maybe I can, there, that's it, good. Now we'll also need these side tank things, we clearly saw the same kind of shape there. Now, where were they attached? Hmm, must have been somewhere, or was it just hanging on its own? Now, I see these things in here, but that was for the passenger module. Now, I think... Oh, it's a t now it's not attached to this. Let's just take it out. Then one of the panels didn't make it all right. Take this off. We'll keep the same core and everything. We just want a lab. We must have a dedicated lab. So we put that there and then we'll just move the thing up again. Actually for a moment thought that was the Soviet flag. Good grief. So it's a good option. Right then... You know, I'll probably go and find the Soviet flag quickly. I know we didn't put it on the other stuff. We might not even see it here. No, never mind, because the panels will cover it again. Now, where are we going to put those tank things? It's going to have to be on that side again. We don't need uh, an airlock here, but the windows would be nice, even though the thing didn't have it like this. doesn't matter. No, dang it. Now I just took it off there. Every time I touch it, the thing falls apart. Well, we could always merge again. Now in this case, it's anyway going to be a longer section. There's a mess of parts around here. So let's put four around the edge again. And like before, we just move it in. Not sure how far exactly we did before. Now take this, put it, good grief, somehow that it's going to attach there. No, not like that. Why 
Why is it so difficult? I think it was like that, then we just moved it down. But it's not even centered, or is it? No, it is. Just move this down. Move this down, and that should do. I know there's a little bit of unevenness there, but that's stuff I... What did I just grab? Now I just grabbed a part of the... Oh man, get the thing out of here. Everything I grab breaks here. And it's not even... Uh, it's not even aligned properly. Now, how far out did this go? That's the question. Suppose we'll just try and uh, approximate it here. Now, since we have this, we could just keep copying it, can't we? Hmm. Ah. It just refuses to cooperate. Seriously, just doesn't want to attach. Hey, hey, hey. Well, comrades, I'll see what I can do here, and then I'll get back to you once it's done. No sense in sitting through this. Right, that didn't take too long. Of course, fixing it is still another question. Turn off the snapping again. Just try and get it roughly looking nice here. should be aligned like this. Mm, there's a little gap there for some reason. Every single one is going to be like this now. Oh well, last one right there. Okay, that'll do comrades. There's our side panels again. The question is now, how do we end this thing off? It's the same story, we need some fuel, we need some monopropellant, so I'll just throw this thing on the bottom here again. And of course the fairing refuses to reappear. Now again it's not going to look exactly then like the other one, although this helps, just say edit. Now of course it does need to go out. No, it doesn't need to go out further. This gives us the guideline for what we need. Now, where do we get this to attach? Right there. Good, 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 good. Now we just move this. Actually, it's all attached to the top there. Yes, this will do. Of course, now... We probably should make it like this so it fits flat on the bottom. Although there will be these little corners sticking out, unless we move it down a little. Then we have a different problem where we have this uneven edge there. No. What about if we move it back out to the very edge of the thing and then move it down? Yes. Still not quite satisfactory. But now it's starting to chip into that thing, which I don't want either. So I think that's the neatest I can make it. The question is now, it's not quite aligned on the top, but that's okay, because the black line there gives us a nice edge to it. So I think this is the main stage of it. Now, of course, we need these tank shapes again. I can... Look at that. You just click on it and it breaks apart again. Hmm. Take this thing again and just add it on the middle here. Double it and just try and move it back in. That means the engines will be in front of the windows, but that will be a nice... Well, no one's going to be on it when it fires. wanted to say it's going to be a nice view, but then again... Mm, yes, let's get it like this where the black line at the top of the tank shows. Although it's a bit far out now. No, it's going to have to be further in. But it doesn't look very pretty here. Hmm. 
Now then I'll rather prefer that it's a bit further out. It doesn't have to look exactly the same as the other module anyway. But we will have our RCS still in place and what else do we need now? Let me think here. Of course the engines pointing down. So actually it is the right thing then. It's not going to fire across the windows. We want it like that. So now I just have to move this so it doesn't stick out too far. And it lines up on the bottom there. It's not quite the right angle though. Maybe a bit more. But this actually worked very well for us last time, so I'm quite confident this is a good option. So, but down here, yes, maybe. Yes, I think so. Again, without the nozzle, it would be perfect. But in this case, we have the nozzle. So there it is. Now, the problem is it's sticking into the window there. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I can move it like this, but now it's totally clipping into the thing. Unless we keep it like that, but I don't want the nozzle to be burning into the fairing. That will not end well for anyone. So let's just move it as far as we need to. But the nozzle must be free. I think the angle is still not right. Yes, that'll do. So it clips a bit into the window, but we'll still be able to see there, at least. So we have a bit of a view from this module. Throw this away and let me just go back to the diagram. Now, we do have the solar panel sitting in the middle of that section on the top. Then, of course, we still have the docking probe thing on the top as well. Just want to see is this length the right if we just I'm not even looking at the meters and stuff anymore I just need to know if that's the length of the lab section right there guessing again and I add that we get to about halfway within the docking node so doing the same thing here we still need to add a bit more length here so we actually end up back where we were. And now let me guess again. Uh, yes, that's more like it should be. Of course, this allows us now to put the solar panels on. Now let me just have a look again. Where would the solar panels go now? The solar panels go... Oh dear, it's difficult to tell. That crystal doesn't even have its solar panels deployed, but now where is the crystal on this one? Same story, it doesn't have its solar panels deployed. Because it would clash with the one on the core module and the others on the various outer modules. Now, if I just find other images of it, photographs, it looks like it's half deployed there. It's not a full-sized solar panel. Strange, I need different angles. Please give me different angles here. It's always the wrong angles. Where is it? Crystal? Again, can't see. Two big tanks on the top where the... This is pointing towards the Quant 2 and... Just gonna have to keep this in mind and of course those two big tanks there so I assume the panels would be on the side of the tanks yes hmm, it's difficult to tell well for the most part then we will just not be deploying the panels on this module after all the later one the power one what is it called again Spectre that one has four solar panels on so I guess it makes up for it uh, yes, well, I think so then. I'll put the normal panels on because I can't see that anything else will work, really. It's not the right scale. This one is a diagram from the side. 
Yes, it's a very large thing. It goes from the top of where the lab would be to the bottom of where the docking port would be. So it is a large panel. I don't know if I have to use these uh, struts again to give it distance. Probably not. Not in this case. Although I'm not sure yet. So about the middle there. For the most part, I suppose it will be closed up like this, but okay, there it is. Now, if we dock here, okay, let's first put that thing on the top. I think it has to be one of these node things again. I know it's not quite the right thing, but we'll cover up all the others. So this I will move in again, because we do not need this extra length here. Like thusly. Now, getting the orientation right is the thing. So, Crystal sits like this. Now, this one doesn't show the big... Okay, it just shows one tank. So, the tank is on the top in the same place as the engine. And that is the opposite side or 45 degree of the solar panels. So, that's right. So, this is where the tank should go. Then we have one node pointing down away from the tanks and one pointing out. So in this case it doesn't matter, we'll just pick one. I'll say this is the one pointing towards the outer docking port. Again, we'll use the same ports we've been using. This is anyway an androgynous port. One there and one there for the eventual shuttle. So let's just make it look a bit nicer again. So I don't want that ring to show there, so it must go that far. And that far. There we go. So there's our ports. Of course, the module will still come there. I guess two of them. One for the Buran as well. Now, what do we do with the rest of this? We could leave it like that, but it's never the most attractive texture, that. What if we throw these on? Yes, we probably have to. And one there okay that's something now the question is what else do we need here we need the big tanks there's two of them one on either actually with that other thing showed us four tanks ah uh, we'll just put four on so either side of the panel it seems Okay, so this is the side with the tanks. I'm not going to use these small ones. I'll use the big monopropellant stuff. I'll just empty it. So we'll have radial attachment. But of course it doesn't work here. It goes on the other side. So we'll guess again. I'll say one here. One there. And same thing up here. Although those other ones didn't seem so far away, but on the diagram that we saw, it, it definitely is on either side of the panel. Just looking for more reference. Yes, there it is. There I only see two big ones. Good grief, nothing is ever consistent. There's also two big ones here, but they sit side by side instead of across from one another. Good grief, another version. Hey, there's no consistency. What do we do here? Actually, I like this. We'll put more on then. We'll do this. Let's put a spin on this thing. That one shows two very large ones. But this is a photograph, so we should go according to this. But it's bigger than that. What do we have that's bigger than that? This is not quite right. I prefer the white instead of the gold. Otherwise, it looks like the one we put on the Kwan 2. So, yes, I think we'll go with that, comrades. Now, what else do we want on this thing? Let's go back to the diagram. 
So on the top of that there is an antenna pointing slightly forward, so right here we'll be using the normal extendable one, of course not in the way of the handrail, just like that I would say, and then of course moved back in. Okay, there's one thing. On the bottom there's another one a little bit further back as well. No, come on, I hate when I do that, when I do the two times symmetry when I'm not supposed to. Okay, there again. Now let. Why are you still here? That is. Oh, it's not even two times symmetry, it's the other one from the previous one. Good grief. So this one should be around there and point straight out. Of course they have different shapes than this, but we do what we can. Now, the rest of the thing. There's so much detail on these modules again that I cannot recreate. So it's once more a simplified version. Now this one again is a photo which shows two large tanks there. But the one is smaller than the other, so again, I can't recreate that. Now, what else? There's the antenna on the bottom. There's another antenna, it seems it's out on the side. Downward angle, although it's not a very clear photograph. Then, there's the docking port on the top. Man, this thing looks like it's the same diameter. Maybe it has some kind of a foam on the outside. So the diagram that clearly showed that adapter thing on the front is not showing the outer layers, but I, I can't do that. Now, it does, however, show a marina... What is that marina? Equipment module thing? Hmm, it's on the bottom now, on this side. Now, how on earth? It looks like it's got a thing like that, but it's too big. Let's use a strut thing. It's too small now, but okay, never mind. We'll put it right here in the middle. And we still want to have some kind of materials processing thing here somewhere, so we still need to make account for that. Now, how do we do that? We'll do the small one, of course. We could put it in here somewhere. How big is it compared to the station? Quite big. Hmm. It will have to be in here, I think. Of course, they'll have to squeeze past it to get to the docking port. But so be it, unless we do something a bit different. There's a Glazar telescope as well. Good grief! There's a panel armature. I don't know what that is. Energy supply system batteries. But that's internal. Running track control station. Svet greenhouse. Onyx panel for the Crater 5 installation, oxygen tanks, Priroda 5 equipment. Okay, this marina equipment thing, we'll make that. We know there has to be something like a uh, materials processing thing on the station, so we will use this. I'll just attach it to the side. We'll need an attachment point. Now, of course, here again, they can maneuver around on the station, but we have to put it somewhere so it won't be blocking anyone's hallway. Let's put it like that and then move it in. Maybe a bit down. Yes, that will look nice. We'll just end it off with a round shape again. That will work. Of course, we have no ore tanks or anything of that nature, so we will have to do that on the other modules, perhaps. 
Yes, and it gives that grid kind of shape again. Okay, we'll do it like that, comrades. Then a section to close it off. There, bang. Now, this thing, of course, can uh, converts ore into fuel. So at least it will be practical from a Kerbal standpoint as well. But now, where would we store that? If we did. Let's just find out. It doesn't have to be the big stuff. This is a small holding tank for the ore. Now, I'm assuming if we ever do this, we'll bring some kind of a craft with the ore on it to the station. Dock it there so it will have the ore on it. So we need a... We could put small radial holding tanks on here. That will give us more features. But other than that, we need fuel tanks. We do have these, but we don't use them. Although we could, we could argue that they are used, but only partly, because obviously inside is a lab, so just to a certain level. That could work. Don't want to put these on. It's going to change the color scheme now. Okay, I think we can live with that. Let's just find out where can we put those small tanks then. Find some photographs again. It's got tanks. It's got stuff all over the place. Very scientific description right there. One for the textbooks. It's got stuff all over the place. Uh, you know, we could even put it on the top there where we saw those two tube things. So it would be on... I hope we'll be... Yes, we'll have a docking thing, so we'll still fit the Buran there. We'll have to put it up here, then. Then I'll just have to move this down. Now, where's those holding tanks? There we go. And we put them... Two here. One on that side. One on that side. Now, let me see. According to this thing, it does stick over the neck there. So it will do like that. Of course, now we have this edge sticking out there, which I don't necessarily like. Don't want to move it back further, though. We could leave it like that. It's sort of a guardrail thing there, maybe. But it definitely overhangs there like it's supposed to. Now, empty, yes, empty. Now, what do we do? We could say this is a samples processing thing, which it really was anyway. We could do a Duna sample return, because people are speaking of a Mars sample return now, with a collaboration between the European Space Agency and NASA. We could do that, then we send it to Mir for the processing. That would be a nice thing. There's a future mission. I just want to see this thing shows us another antenna. Now, it's so difficult to judge. It looks like it's off the side here somewhere. Oh, we'll throw it on. Doesn't matter if it's not too specifically placed. Actually, we could pull it here. Again, doing that is difficult because it won't attach there. Now, how far out is that going to extend? It shouldn't clash with the shuttle or the Buran. Just want to get the angle. What does the angle sh look like there? Okay, it's going forward. Now, forward is up in this case. Like that. Then we move it down. Like that. So there is another antenna. 13 tons at the moment. We should be able to handle it. 100 meters per second. So yes, the upper stage is going to have to do virtually everything. We could squeeze more fuel in here though. I want to. Just because we need the extra safety margin. Okay. 
Ah, uh, where's the other one? Oh, it's radial again. Not that far in. It doesn't really help much, but it gives us a little bit of a margin again. Okay, there we go. So, let's save this thing, Crystal. No, not like that. Save. Is there anything more that we have to do here right now? Let me have a look again. Shows like a round thing there, but I don't know if we need to attach that. And this photo shows lots of piping running all over the place. No, I think we're done. There's nothing that's going to really add a lot, you know. Make a big difference to the whole appearance here. Let me just have a look at that diagram again of Crystal and see if there's anything that... Oh yes, the Glazar 2 telescope. Now it sits on the bottom where the water tanks are on the opposite side. Kind of does look like a telescope, so it would be here. Now how on earth would we do that? Or how on Kerbin would we do that? Now it looks in the diagram, if you go back to the part where I showed that, it looks like the telescope is folded up almost. It's almost got a pivot there in like a front part where the lens is. Hmm. Thinking. Too big. Maybe we'll make a small-ish telescope thing, or at least something that suggests that it's a telescope that sort of unfolds. Oh man, not two again. Okay. Now it needs something like... What, what's narrower than that? Well, let's try this. Put a tank there, that's the telescope housing. It's not going to look very attractive, but it will look like something, I guess. Maybe one more. So it sort of pivots, but it's too close to the thing there. It's too close to the pivot. Actually, I'll need the... I'll need the thing. No. It will not let me pick it. There. So move it back out again, yeah, something like that, a little bit back, and then a lens kind of a thing on the front. Now, how on earth would we do that? I was thinking of a reaction wheel, the small one, but it's the same diameter, it must be smaller than that. What do we have that's smaller than that? Aha! Uh -huh. Something like that, we pretend that's a lens. Then, of course, if they want to view, it swivels out. I think that's how this image suggests that it works. I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong. But then maybe it's another Kerbal addition to the game. Something unique. 
Comrades, I think that's it. We might throw some small tanks on this thing just for some extra texture. It looks like there's two on the bottom there. Now this will not be in a balanced way. I just want to throw stuff on here to give it a little bit of life. So one right there. One right there. Yes, I think that's it. Just don't want to overdo it. You don't want it to be too busy. You just want it to look a bit nice. Maybe a bit out. Okay, like that. Comrades, save, and I think that's it. We do the launch now. This is Crystal, and it is ready to go. The Kerbals, I'm sure, will enjoy doing their science in this module. So, maybe we could move these pipes down a little bit. Oh, it's tanks, not pipes. Just so they look like they're attached to the station. Okay, save. Now, Time to grab the thing. Of course, you know what thing I'm talking about, the proton. Save again, open, and we will use the one from the Kvant 2 merge. Shift click right there and place it there. It should work. Now, of course, we'll also see that our new part is a bit longer than the old one. That's okay. We just say edit fairing. And voila. Let's hope this thing is now good. It should be. Hopefully it will launch it. Again, we get an 8 point something thrust to weight ratio, which is a lie because it's on the moon. That's why. Good grief. Now we've solved that mystery as well. Save again, and I will see you on the pad, comrades. Okay, it's a lovely daytime launch, but that's now, of course, if the station is above us, which it is almost. Just say set as target again. What on earth is that? That's the upper stage of the Soyuz rocket, I think. We'll have to deorbit it. No, we've already passed, so we just have to go around again. We only get one chance per day. Okay, that's it. So we should still be good here with power and all of that. So, comrades, F5 and 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, comrades, we made it, but I think we are pushing the limits of the Proton. The first stage especially is very underpowered, but we made it, so we still have a few seconds of fuel on this upper stage. I think we should probably save it for the return 
obviously it still has to deorbit itself, but then again, 213 should be more than enough. I put us in a slightly higher orbit because the station needs to catch up to us. So I think yes, we will deorbit this thing now. F5, switch to it and do the retro. Just don't hit that station. Let's just wait till we get a bit further away. I love this. So cool. Anyway, let me just gently burn. bit more and go home. There we go. Still one second left. Now this gives us 156 left. Oof. How much monopropellant do we have? Okay, I'm not gonna quick save again because it might turn out poorly. It's time for the time warp now, so I will skip ahead here again. See you in a minute. Actually, just I have to deploy the panels in case we have trouble with the electric charge. Continue. Comrades, we made it almost to the target. We still have 109 meters left and the target is 19 meters per second away. So let's see if we can manage a meetup. This will of course be with the very thinnest of margins, but it might still be possible. Okay, let's see what happens. Now it's going further away. Okay, let's wait until we get to the closest approach. Yes, it still pushes it down, so we actually have to push it back up again. Okay, at least we know that now. Don't want to burn off all of our momentum here. It's not making any difference whatsoever. I guess we have to burn more towards the target. It's because we're in a higher orbit. So what do we do in this case? We are supposed to slow down our orbit a little bit. I'm going to F5. We're close enough. Hopefully we can still make it. Now, in this case, we are supposed to do retrograde burn. Now, let's see if I can do that. That reaction wheel is very weak. Maybe a good thing again. Okay, slow us down, please. It's not making any change. Let's 
let's just get it to about 120. I fear this may not be working as it should. Okay, what does that give us? 22 kilometers. 12. Okay, this one is coming down. F oh, 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 4. 4, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 3. 2, 1. Yes, there's half a kilometer. Turn it off. 0 0.6. So that was indeed the right thing to do. So to catch up, we need to slow down. Let's watch it drift around. I think we will make it. Hopefully the difference won't be too much. There we go. 13 minutes. 40 meters per second and we have 82. Yee, this could not have worked out better if it was planned and I of course did not even bother to measure the delta V as you saw I just threw on those extra fuel tanks. Good thing I did. Now in this case let's get a bit closer again. 3, 2, 1 Okay, what do we do? What do we do now? In this case, I think we want to go retrograde. I'll give a little RCS control. Hopefully it works. There's our telescope. Okay, a little faster than that, please. The monopropellant is what needs to push us into place, so I don't want to use it all. Okay, if I burn it like this now, does it help? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stop. We have 68 meters per second left. F5. <sighs> well, you can't say we we wasted fuel on this mission. Now stop with the RCS and let's get closer. I need to see where we need to dock. Now 12 meters we still need to burn off. Okay, we may have a collision if I do not act fast. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Okay, it's wobbling now back and forth back and forth again just get me on to the retrograde and keep us there for goodness sake okay good enough now stop with all this ridiculous movements please Okay, I'll have to F5 again. Oh yeah, yeah, the RCS is not really that great. Now, where is it that we need to dock? I'm just going to bring up the pause menu because I need to make sure I know what I'm doing here. So where is that figure with the whole space station? Okay, we need to dock on the right side of the core module. So, okay, now I just need to see where the tanks and all that stuff need to go. Okay, there is another photograph, and yes, I need to know where the port will be, the docking stuff. Now, okay, there is the shuttle docking. Okay, so that's the right... Is that the right side of the core module? It must be, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, that's the right side, so the... Water tanks that we put on must point towards the quant, too. So the quant is there. It's on the other side of the station. Okay, at least now I know something here. Now, can I turn us without causing too much of a... Ah, oh, man, I wish I put extra reaction wheels on this thing. It's very, very weak. Because it's so heavy. Good thing of putting those 
extra water tanks on and full of monopropellant. Okay, I think what we need to do now is I need us to slide right through there. Okay, stop there. Okay. Hopefully now, you see now it's trying to keep itself stable and it's doing totally the wrong thing again. It's actually the other way. Don't twist and turn and go bananas like this. What a waste of monopropellant. Okay, let's pass by the station without hopefully eating anything. Okay, there's our docking port, right there. Now let's just see, okay, just that, please get us to the target, though it's not a good time yet. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is nerve-wracking stuff every single time. F5 again. But at least we know we had enough fuel. I'd be very interested to hear if other people are using these craft to try and recreate this station as well, and how they find it. Because it seems like the fuel margins are extraordinarily narrow. So you will have to uh, put some extra tanks onto the proton if you uh, are, a, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea to turn it like this yet. Just don't hit any solar panels and it seems that we, no, we're still drifting past, that's good. Okay, activate the RCS system again and turn it back off. You have to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, otherwise it keeps burning. Okay, we're sliding into place, so these tanks must point up towards the Kvant 2. So that gives us a very good indication of what needs to happen. But before I do that, I just want to stop our movement again. Okay, we're moving very slowly now. Oh, oh. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. Stop your movement. Okay, it's essentially stopped. No, 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 no. Now, okay, that's the target still. The tanks must point up, so... Like that. RCS off, SAS on, lock back to target. That's why the solar panels clash with the solar panels on the uh, various other craft there was modules. I'm just bringing up the pause menu again. I want to be absolutely sure I'm doing the right thing. Yes, the panel will definitely clash with the panel on the core module, which is a very strange thing that they designed it like that. But anyway... Maybe they only put one panel on, because you can never use that, unless the one on the core gets damaged, of course, then you have a backup here. Okay, now move us into place, very gently, please, very gently, just move us up as well, turn that off. <sighs> F5, okay, bring up the thing, so we see now we have to be on that edge there. Two hundred and seventy degrees. No, but of course I'm doing the wrong thing still. Because this side must dock. Oh, good grief. Okay, we are barely moving here. So I'm going to say control from here. 
and then let it swing around yeah 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 not gonna give it rcs control because it will just do all sorts of wild things now and it's supposed to have gyrodynes on it anyway we do not get sick seasick or space sick Now is this thing still pointing the right way? It is not. So on top of this I'm going to add a rotation as well. You must have a strong stomach here. Uh, almost there. Two hundred and seventy degrees, so the degrees are almost perfect. Of course, they still wobble as we settle into place, and there's always a counter force. As long as we're about half a degree, it'll be okay. Right there, just keep it right there. F5 again. Tanks are pointing towards Quant 2 and we are just going to up now, so I need to turn... Now of course we're losing our spin again. But that I can fix at the last minute. I just wouldn't like us to not hit any pan panels now. The suspense is increasing. Okay, turn this thing back on, please. Get us locked to that. Oh, we're definitely going to hit it. We're definitely going to hit it. Good grief. Talk about suspense. Okay, I think I need to do the right thing and just lift, lift us. Good grief, that was so close. Almost hit it there. We probably scraped it a little bit. Okay, turn that back on. Please lock for us. Oh, I don't want to do this again. What are you doing? Okay, this is a problem. We are supposed to be locked to target. How is that possible? Oh, it messed it up when we swapped around. Okay, we just need to stop a little bit here because we're not Ooh, okay, whoa, 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 uh, no other way, almost hit that antenna there, yeah, 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 Okay, make sure we're locked again. <sighs> F5. Just fast forward, I don't want the station moving there. Now, RCS, take us down, please. Try to get our rotation back again. Smart thing would be to just retract the panel before we dock. 
but that doesn't make for suspense like this. Okay, 270. Keep it there, please. Of course, as soon as I activate the RCS, it'll mess it up again. I just want us to be level now with the thing. There's the moon watching all of this drama. Yep, this is the right way. Do you know the way? Yeah, yeah, okay. Getting somewhere. Now I'm going to keep that on. F5 again. RCS system on. Lift us up gently. There, get the thing pointing exactly to it. And then prograde burn. Okay, you see it does fight me there. Okay, we're not quite where we need to be. Turn that off. Night, night is happening and now we're spinning again crazily. No, we can't see anything. I'll see if I can bring up the light value in the video. But first, I'm going to swap over to the other one, turn on the lights and swap back. That will help us. <sighs> okay. I want to make one final change just to push us that way. Now we should be able to dock without drama, hopefully. 70.2. That's okay. I'm going to turn the guidance off now. 270 degrees, 270.1, and we docked. That's almost perfect there. Whew. Drama. What drama. Need to stretch here. Now let's hope this panel is not going to hit the tank there. It might actually. Although there is a bit of clearance. Okay, let's turn off these engines. We will not be needing the few seconds of Delta V that we still have left. And let's get into the sunlight. Let's see our new creation. Voila, there she is, comrades. The mirror is taking shape. Let's get us to about just before high noon, so around here. Now this thing has to point down, so I would like to control from here and point radial in. Of course we're not going to be too worried about it because we can't really keep it in sync with the rotation of the uh, orbit here and of the planet, but that's okay. Turn all lights off, please. Save some power. Don't need it. And there we are, comrades. It's just settling in now. Just let it do its wobble. Still moving the roll and the yaw and the stuff. Let's just wait till it settles down. might take a while but I think at that point right there just keep it there comrades ooh, we made it we made it yo stress here eh F1 long video again comrades but I think very worth it so I'm not going to extend that panel it would be terrible so I will rather extend this one and of course we still have to make sure all of our Antennas are deployed, so I'll just see if we can find them. 
see, we're still moving here. Stabilizing a big station like this is obviously not easy. We'll have to put some extra reaction wheels on the future modules to help compensate for this. Extend and was there another one somewhere on the other side here? And that's that. And that is that, that is that. I'm going to do another F1. That will be our thumbnail, I think. And I will see you next time, comrades. <sighs> worth it, worth it. A very good addition. I know it's longer than the other one, but I'm fine with that. After all, we've added the whole docking thing on the end as well, so that has to be there. And it helps to give clearance to the shuttles from the panels. So the one is going to dock on the bottom, the shuttle itself. And then on this side, the Buran will be docking like this. So it will have clearance from the panels as well. I just don't think they can dock at the same time. But that's also alright. F5 one last time. See you next time, comrades. And have a spectacular day.